Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be reacting to funny assumptions that people assume about people with disabilities, and I'm going to try to educate you so you would know not everything that you read online is true. Okay, so, um, okay, so if we go to the top of our handy dandy list chart, whatever you want to call it. So, first one. A person's disability defines who they are as an individual. This makes me mad that people would ever think this. This is hilarious. This is funny. This is crazy. Like, no. Um, first of all, our identity as an individual is found in Jesus. And if you don't like me talking about um, Jesus, uh, that is what I believe in and I choose to talk about it on my channel. So sorry I offended you, but anyways. So, it does not define who we are as individuals. So yeah, um, this next one. People with disabilities are sick and constantly in pain. We are not constantly sick. We get sick from the things people get sick from. Like strep throat, like um, flus, colds. We get sick from that, but we don't get sick from our disability unless our disability is a disability within the lungs um, that like causes like lung weakness or something I don't really know about that but we do suffer pain I suffer spastic but it is not constant it is certain times throughout the day and then I also do suffer bits of hip pain but that's certain times throughout the day as well um and if you guys want me to I can make a whole video about like tips for spastic pain in general um, just in case I have any more friends that are watching this video that have spastic CP I can show you some things some creams some oils that will help you with those pains okay um, just let me know in the comments, shoot me a message on our Surviving CP for Teens Facebook group on either of those and just let me know. Um, but yeah. So. So, this next one, this is number three. So. People with disabilities are brave, um, courageous, and inspirational for living with disabilities. I like to believe we are. I may be biased, but I don't know. I like to believe we are, though. I know some um, people that are very inspirational, like my friend Jeremiah. He is a church friend. I think he's inspirational because we go through similar situations. I think Molly Burke is very inspirational. She's on YouTube. She is a motivational speaker and she's great. So go check her out if you haven't already. But anyways, um, so this next one. People with disabilities are special and should be treated differently. This is hilarious because we deserve to be treated like everyone else is treated. Nicely, respectfully, so on and so forth. You get the drift. Okay. Disability is a personal tragedy and deserves our pity. First of all, we do not need your pity. And it depends on um, people's lives. Some people, like, all disabilities are horrible, but they don't 
all necessarily happen from tragic accidents. Mine's from a birth defect. Um, and yeah. <laughs> and also, I can only really speak from my, um, point of view. But also, no, we do not deserve or need your pity. So, yeah. Um, so this fact. People with disabilities are dependent and always need help. No, we are not always dependent. Um, some of us, like Molly Burke, and myself actually, my service dogs in training though, but we have service dogs. The purpose of them are to help us be independent. Like Molly Burks, her dog Gallup, who is gorgeous by the way, he is her eyes, literally. My dog is to help me stay on balance, help with startle reflexes, so on and so forth pick up things for me. All of those things are to help me be independent and less, um, uh, dependent. And also, I don't always need your help. Yes, I need your help with certain things because I cannot use my left hand, but I also have my electric chair where that allows me to go in my room and chill and make these videos for you guys and just hang out and do whatever it is I want. You know, that's honestly how it is. Okay, so the next one is, oh, sorry, see, like right there. So, okay, I just had to get some fruit punch. Hydrate, 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 y'all. Anyway, let's proceed. Okay. People with disabilities want to associate with each other. True, it helps us both make friends and feel not alone. And if you want to do both of those things, join my Cerebral Palsy for Teens group on Facebook. Link in the description. But anyway, also... People with disabilities are confined to their wheelchair. This is freaking hilarious because we use crutches, we use walkers, we have service dogs if we're blind. We just, we have a bunch of, God has created a bunch of different resources for us. Wheelchair, but anyway, this one cracks me up. Okay, this one says, People with disabilities are a one-dimensional group. And if you don't know what one-dimensional means, because honestly, I needed mom's help with this one because I've never heard that word either. But it means that we can only do one thing. And that is, let's just all pause for like two minutes and just laugh. Let's just get all of our giggles out, realize how stupid that is, and let's just laugh. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just have fun. You know what? I will. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Okay, let's continue. Cannot live a, um, let's see what this says. This one's hilarious, too. Oh, people with disabilities cannot live a productive life. Oh, how hilarious. Let's just take another minute and let's just laugh. Let's just laugh our butts off because that is freaking hilarious. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to <clears throat> screenshot this and I'm going to screen. I'm going to um send a picture to my friend Jeremiah here on YouTube. And he's just going to laugh with us. Okay, y'all? It's just... Mm. I really want to use this video to educate people, give people an education. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!